Welcome back, everyone, to Fierce Network TV right here in Barcelona covering MWC all week long. I'm Alejandro Pinedo, your host, and we have an exciting panel all about AI ops, network management, and service assurance in the cloud. Gentlemen, thank you so much for visiting us today. I know you fought the wind to get here, and we appreciate <laughs> that very much. Leonard, let's start with you here. Let's, let's talk about where we are with AI ops and, and has it been implemented uh, and to what scale when it comes to network management? Yeah, I think it's a, a, a rather, you know, early days for it. And I think um, it's uh, practice, the practices around AI ops are things that are uh, constantly morphing just be, simply because AI in and of itself is evolving so quickly, especially with the advent of generative AI. And as um, operators are looking to apply it within the network as well as in, in their operations. And so I think it's, it, it's a frontier that um, I think a lot of operators are going to be exploring. And I think the good news is there's a lot of tooling that is being developed along the way, as well as uh, practices that are supporting uh, this evolution of AI and uh, what's needed to actually uh, manage the operations as well as the development of these uh, AI-enabled uh, capabilities. So, mm -hmm. Great. And Amir, from AWS perspective, service assurance in the cloud has got to be a, a key topic and key point of concern and consideration. What can you tell us about that? So this week at MWC, we made two major announcements. We brought our cloud at the edge uh, on customer premises, telco premises to process high throughputs of traffic in what was historically known as 5G core. Then we've extended it furthest to the edge at the base of the cell tower in a short form factor as an AWS output server for Cloud RAN. Why are we are doing this? We're doing this because we are simplifying the multiple layers of the cloud, the hardware, the OS, the, the Kubernetes layer. And what it allows us is actually to simplify the service assurance experience for the operators. Because historically, they've been used to managing appliances which was either red, green, blue, yellow, working, not working. Now, by minimizing that complexity of a, offering a fully managed stack, we can emulate the experience of an element level system assurance as well as a network level system assurance driven by the cloud adoption. Excellent. And Rick, I did want to ask you to, to bring this to life, right? Sure. So Leonard is giving us a bit of context where we are with AI ops, but you guys have some real stories to tell, so we'd love to hear a little bit about that. Definitely, definitely not a problem at all. In fact, if we think about what uh, 5G standalone brings to the table, right? It brings to the table basically slicing, right? So one of the things that Netscott has done is we have a real-time data streamer now that's taking a curated data feed through an AI pipeline environment then sending statistical information, telemetry, along with uh, which particular inter enterprise is using which particular slice, and sending that to a AOPS environment, another third-party environment, and it's comparing that information against SLAs per, per enterprise. And that AI ops environment is then taking uh, potential orchestration capability to go in and actually uh, enhance or actually tune down kind of the microservices that are delivering that particular slice environment. Brilliant. Well, let's close out here by, by thinking about what's next and, and what the evolution is there. And maybe we'll work down the, the sofa here, Leonard. As a parting thought, what, what, is the, what do you think is uh, up and coming in AI ops and, and network management? Um, you know, constant evolution and uh, enablement with uh, some of these new tools that are coming out. I mean, I think uh, it's all about acceleration and uh, there's definitely a focus on that, no doubt. Excellent. And Rick, any, any thoughts from you? I, I think from our perspective, I think it's, it's looking at the culmination of combining what we're seeing on the radio access network, what we're seeing on the packet core network, mm -hmm. and what, what we're seeing in terms of trouble tickets coming in and user experience, kind of combining everything together to a holistic kind of view. And I think today, you know, the traditional carriers is too siloed, but I think IOPS is going to actually start bringing that together from a common viewpoint. Excellent. And Amir, you have the pressure of uh, bringing us home here. With the <laughs> I, last just, I, I just <laughs> echo the, the thought process. The, the, the promise of AI ops, what Rick was just mentioning in terms of ability to actually bring the data together and triangulate the troubles and, 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 and triangulate trouble tickets quickly to identify the fault, that is what is going to drive the next level of adoption by the enterprises. Excellent. Well, lots to look forward to. Gentlemen, thank you so much again for visiting us here on Fierce Network. I know Barcelona is crazy to say the least, so we it's appreciate lovely. your time. <laughs> Thank you. Take care. Thank Thanks. you. Thanks.